Hello and welcome back to the Sally and Dan. So, regular Thursday now, so I'm going to be doing releasing this video every Thursday. I'm recording it on the Monday. Uh, so this is just showing what the weekend sales have been like. You'll see I've got my Halloween top on. Been pumpkin picking today. Not the only picking I do, you know, at car boots. I go out there pumpkin picking as well. So, got a nice long list, 23 items out this weekend, so that includes from around about 10 o'clock Friday morning up until Monday evening. Um, so not my greatest weekend worth of sales, but still a good amount going out. Um, so, we'll just get straight into it. We'll just get straight into it. My first sale is, you'll be remember back uh, when I had the old camera, I picked up a big, massive bag of Lego. Huge bag, £70 for the whole bag. I'm currently at, after totaling all of it up, I'm currently at £400. And I'll just show you what I've still got left. A full IKEA tub full of Lego left. So, um, I'll try and find it. Give me two minutes. Uh, I'll be back in a second. I've got to find number 70335. Give me two minutes. So I found it, so it's this Nexo Knights 70335, the lady kindly bagged everything up in Ikea bags. It was brilliant while I was listing it, terrible while I'm trying to find it because most of them are in red bags. But we're still powering through it, so that's currently now at £403, so that's sold for £3. Uh, don't even ask me probably what it, it cost me, I'd probably say less than 20p, something like that in the whole bundle. I got a ridiculous amount of stuff, so uh, yeah, that went out the door for £3 plus shipping. Next ones. A while ago, I wasn't on camera at this point. When I first started, I got a massive deal of these Jack's putter head covers. All brand new, all X. I think they were Sports Direct stock. I've bought a big banana box full. Uh, I think there was around about 100 and odd of them. Anyway, so I got these all for 30p each. I paid £30 for the full bin. Um, and these have been going out for between £3 and £3.50. So one of them sold for £3, one of them sold for £3.47 plus shipping. So these have just been, they're not the greatest value, but in terms of quantity, you know, from 30 quid for 100 of these, I'll probably make about £300. So it was definitely worth buying it, easy listing, because there were multiple quantities of each head cover. So it was, an easy, it was a win-win for me when I was first starting out. Next one are some shoes. Go to the shoe box. So, pick these up at a charity shop. These are some Grenson Brogues. Really nice, nice shoe. Uh, quite worn on the bottom, but I put all that in the description. So I picked these up for three pound. These are going out the door for 16 pound 35 plus shipping. Something that I don't normally do, but I decided to list it. I mean, when I bought it, didn't really suit me. No, my, not my size, I'm a bit bigger. Anyway, uh, Calvin P Klein bra and pants set. Um, one that was in the drawer upstairs, so that has gone out for £11 plus shipping. Oh, I'm so happy this one sold, let me get it. One of them ones that if I could turn back time, I wouldn't have bought it, but I'm still <laughs> planning on making good money from it. So again, back on the old camera, so this must be five months ago, five months ago, something like that. I bought four combination spanners, they're called, massive, great, big, fat things. Um, so this is a 55, don't know what that means, not a clue, listed it anyway, so it's been sat on the shelf for ages, I thought when I first put this on I'd get anywhere between 70 and 80 pound, I didn't, I got 35 quid, but I'm 5 pound into it, so turn 5 pound into 35, I'm still quite happy, but through the amount of duration I've sat on it, I've still got four, uh, 3 left, so, but I'm just glad to see the back of it, it's one every thing this, but you know, I'll probably put that in a tube with a bit of packaging and out the door it goes. Uh, right, so the next one. I have a deal with a local establishment. I go and buy some stuff from them, and he also gave give me ex promotional stuff um, for me to sell. Um, so it's local to my area. I've got the deal with him, so I go and just pick up the stuff every now and then. I give him some money for some items, but not for all of them. And some of them we split fifty fifty. So this next one is a fifty fifty split. And it's a brand new Ping I525 7 iron head cover. That's 7 iron head cover. 7 iron um, head. I've also got the shaft with the brand new Ping Project X shaft. 
go together, slot in, blah de blah. Didn't want to put it together because I think it looks better when you're not putting you know, let, let them do it. So that's all for 75, uh, 70 pound plus shipping. So this one will be going out. Uh, and I'll have made 35 quid from this just from picking it up and listing it for him. So yeah, easy money that one. Back on my first charity shop video. Picked up these brand new Farrah trousers. Men's old, you know, just classic Farrah's, black Farrah's. Picked them up for £3, they sold for 20 plus shipping. Philips VCR, where are you? Come on down over there. Philips VR530 VCR machine with remote. £2 into this, that has sold for £30 plus shipping. Where's your paper? No! So, this, I'll put the paper down, I'll lose it, it's there. Project Rock, uh, Under Armour, very, very well worn, very bobbly on it. Um, it was mine. Amy absolutely hates this jumper. I don't know why, I think I look fashionable in it. But anyway, so that one sold for £20, not including it as I did before, if we've bought it before and it's got a value. It's not in my eBay. Uh, value at the end uh, onto a really good I, I like this one so I went skip diving when I first started and found this brand new uh, microwavable plate Panasonic microwavable plate still in the packaging out of a brand new microwave uh, the microwave was absolutely knackered so I just didn't bother picking that up but the plate I thought well everyone someone's gonna break a plate so, sooner or later so that cost me nothing that sold seven pound plus shipping uh, on to another annoying one. Bought these a while ago. Karen Millen wooden posh hangers. Don't even know who Karen Millen is, but uh, they look very nice, good quality hangers. Picked them up for two pounds, sold them for five. Plus shipping, not the greatest. I shouldn't shouldn't have picked them up, but hey ho, you live and learn. Uh, one of the kids' ones. Where have I put that? Kiddies. Oh, there it is. So, I'll let Amy put a picture in, but this is the Toot Toot VTEC racetrack. Going downhill, we've lost a few pieces, put it all in the listing, still sold for £15 plus shipping just because the kids weren't using it anymore. Right, onto the back of the paper. A McKellar drill. McKellar drill in the packaging. I'm not going to open it up because I'll just fumble it out. It's just a drill. Everyone knows what a drill looks like. Um, got this for £2. Sold that for £22 plus shipping. Uh, Amy's shoes. Pair of women's absolute beat up Nike Air Force Ones, size 7. And team and clean bottom. God, I'm lazy on this one. Uh, so they sold for £10 plus shipping. A little, I've had this a while as well. Got this at Twin Oaks for 50p. Look how small it is. It's a Samsung right hand side speaker with the little port. I think you meant to, you must be able to hang it on a wall or something like that. It's not complete, no wires with it, anything like that. I actually picked that up for 50p uh, out of a box for everything with 50p. So I picked this up because um, it was Samsung and I thought it must be worth something. So that wall, that's 50p, sold for £6.65 plus shipping. Some mugs. Mike Wazowski and Sully. Coming up to Christmas, thought we'd put them on. A bit awkward to drink out of. Really, really weird shape. Uh, proper Disney ones, though, uh, on there. So they're the Disney official ones. Uh, we got these as a present, but again, I'm not including them at the end. £16.65 plus shipping they went out for. Oh, until I break it. No, I ain't broke it. I'm only kidding. Nearly, though. Nearly. Right. Soul Calibre. A game. I'm assuming Soul Cal Ah, there it is, Xbox 360. Should have looked at that, shouldn't I? Beep. Soul Calibre. Promotion case only. There we go. 
It's got a little Yoda on top of it. Know nothing about it. Uh, pick them up for 20p at my local charity shop. Sold for £3.50. Nothing special, but it's 20p to £3.50. Uh, next one is a Ping 5 iron. Uh, picked this up in a big bundle, worked out about 50p. So it's a red dot Ping um, TST Carston uh, with a steel shaft. So that's going out for a fiver. Not too bad. The next one, got another golf club. Out of season and golf clubs are selling. But my golf bags have dried up. Good dried up, just, just hanging there, not buying anything. One one of the things, like if it's only if it's a really, really good deal, am I getting golf stuff in winter? Because everyone knows that people don't play golf in winter. Well, obviously some people do, die hard golfers, but and me because I'm stupid. <laughs> but yeah, uh, a tailor made seven iron. It's the M1. No, you see that? Yeah, seven iron, really in great condition. I got this in a big bundle. I've sold the the full set that it came with. Pink put this on last time, so this worked out at two pounds. Sold it for twenty five. Right. On to my two favourite ones. I've left them till last because that, uh, these are these are great. One sold within twenty four hours. One has been on for four months, but still very exciting. So I'll get the first one, get the first one. I hung it up. I hung it up because I thought it'd take forever to sell. So I'm gonna get Amy to put a picture on because, uh, I'll leave you some room Amy, round about there, because I don't think I can do this justice because it's so big, so big. Um, but, uh, vintage, sledge metal sledge with a wooden frame and like a just a wooden board with like a bit of fabric on top of it quite a big thing uh i was told that sledges sell really well didn't believe it these old sledges i thought you know no one's gonna want that there's no paint left on it you know it's got scrapes and everything in it anyway you'll see my from my old coats video that i've just released sorry released on sunday just gone um that picked this up in a massive bundle of 15 quid this item, after I've worked everything out, worked out around about 50p. Probably just less, but I've rounded it up to 50p. That sold for £40 within 24 hours. I ended it up for 45 and I took an offer at 40 You know, fantastic. Plus shipping as well, plus shipping. Uh, so that's on its way down to Essex. No, East Sussex. Um, that, I'm really happy with that sale. I, I was shocked, but uh, obviously it's coming up to Christmas, and I'm assuming someone will use that as like a display piece or something like that. But a great sale, really, really good, easy money like that. You know, that just in that one sale, the whole of Old Coats was paid for, plus a little bit of profit as well. So, oh, happy days, we're all happy. So, on to my favourite one. When I picked this up. I got some messages, I got some comments when I was down at Talksy. Went down with my mum. It was a Wednesday and the house, James the house clothes guy was there. And I picked this up, it looked quality, so I thought, I'm gonna pick it up. I know he's gonna be cheap. Never heard of the brand before. And once I got back, the zero research on it. So I put it up for think originally in the first month and a half i had it up for 300 i then dropped it to 250 and for another one and a half months it sat there at 250. i then got it got about i think it got about 11 watches um so i kept pinging some offers out sending them offers out as as we do hoping for that little little bite on the end of the rod and someone bit so i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it My God, it's heavy though. Whew. I mean, oh, this system, you will remember me picking it up. It's the Akai, A-K-A-I, stereo cassette recorder. Massive thing, massive. Look back on my videos if you could, um, because I'm putting it down, ridiculously heavy. That cost me, Two pound. I had loads of messages saying it's not worth that. It's never going to be worth over two hundred quid because there's no no one sold any. But bit of advice for you here. Um, 
just put it on. Put it if, if there's none on there, there's none sold, then what's the harm in valuing it for yourself? So I put that up at 300. Yes, I've got 200 for it, but that was a total unknown. I did not know. No, there's no research. The, the, not no research, but I did so much research into it, and there was none available anywhere. There's none that's recently sold. Nothing. So I just pit, pitched it. I pitched it. Out. What's the, what's the point in putting it low just to try and get a quick sale? So that has cost me, uh, you know, three or four months of time sat in a corner, not doing anything. It's fully working. Everything's fine on it, um, and bang, it's sold. You know, so that's two hundred pound plus. I think around about sixteen pound shipping. That is a really big heavy thing and it's going to take me all the time in the world to get that wrapped you're going to wish i'd done the packaging video with this one um but luckily it was my kids birthdays recently and this massive box i'm hoping should just about fit it in so hopefully the savior has come and the box can be used. So, what you're all wanting to know is what I've made, what money I've made this weekend. So, so from Friday morning to Monday night, four days worth of sales. Well, three and a bit days worth of sales. Spend total on all of those items was £23.30. I know I had to double check that one. That's crazy. Crazy low. Value out of everything was 400. No, sorry, out of just the items that wasn't from my house that I don't include, was 459 pound and 97p. Whoo! eBay took 55 quid off me, so leaving me with a total profit of 381 pound and 47p after this weekend. Amazing, absolutely amazing. If I did have everything, add everything on just for everyone out there who wants to know, so this total weekend sales of uh, roughly coming at £542.97p with the stuff that we're selling from our house. So I'm happy, I'm happy, we're all happy. I'm meeting my targets, I'm smashing my targets. I'm hoping that you all, everyone out there, is happy. You know, I'm loving these videos, I'm hoping you are too. It's getting into winter. It's going to be more of a struggle now. I'm very lucky in the, the area that I am in. Car boots will literally stay open until they really, really cannot anymore. Unless it's old coats and it stays open all the time. Every weekend that, that car boot will be on rain or shine. Which is brilliant for me. That is, my, that is the closest car boot I have to me. Um, so hopefully the sales pick up. I'm going to be looking at different methods. I'm going to be looking at different ones. So I'm going to be looking at auctions, buying in mass. Uh, I'm going to be looking at trying to contact some people that I know from car boots, got to know and seeing if I can get some stock while they're not going to car boots. Uh, I'm going to be picking Facebook, going around Facebook marketplace and trying to pick up items from there. Um, but I'm going to try everything I can pretty much um just to, to make sure everything the stock levels stay high uh at the minute i have around about 700 listings uh, on there i just can't get it up <laughs> no no dan i just can't get it above 700 uh it stays there and then i have like 20 odd sales in a weekend so on, on average for a week i average i pr probably say between 50 and 70 sales a week uh, which is which is really good, which is fine. It keeps me going to that post office. Um, but uh, I'm thinking winter that might drop off a little bit. But I can't, I just can't get it above 700. Uh, but I'm going to keep trying. I've got a massive box full of clothes here that I still need to get through. Looking down now, I've got kids' toys. I've got bags. I've got um, loads of, um, what do you call it, nail varnish. Uh, all stuff to be put on there. Not to mention, I ain't even put the blinds to go stuff on yet. Um, I've got quite a bit in the death pile, to be honest. So I'll keep churning it through. Oh, not to mention what I've just bought. Um, so hopefully I've got like, I think I've got probably 100 items sat here. Just waiting for me to list. So we'll see. Just want to mention one before I go. So weirdly, my contract renewal came up on my Wi-Fi. I don't have a phone line, you know modern and all that we just use a mobile phone we don't even we don't plug a phone in so bt offered me uh, weirdly they said oh if you stay with us we'll knock you five pound off your monthly bill for the for your wi-fi fantastic oh and we'll send you some free phones get the phones two of them 
I thought, well, this is weird. Check them out. So these are Amazon Alexa enabled phones. Uh, and they've sent me £35 phones for free. So two sets of £35 phones. So whew, see, if, see if your contract's up for renewal. They'll send, you, they'll send you 70 quid for free. Uh, so I'll be getting them listed as well. So, yeah. We're all happy. We're all hunky dory. I hope all you lot are too. Uh, big things are still coming. You know, I'm keeping the content coming. Um, well, even through winter, I'm going to be smashing it out. I'm going to be doing. I'll just do whatever I can. I'll do whatever I can to get them videos out to you and make sure that they're uh, entertaining and we're all happy. So, if you like this one, as always, I like your comments below. You know, the last one that I put out there uh, about why eBay was frustrating. That's got the most interaction of any videos. I love it. I love it because these videos are out there to, to engage you, to make sure that you are commenting on these. You know, if anyone wants to buy anything from my eBay store, leave a message when you've bought it. I have a, had a few subscribers now buy stuff. Leave a message. I'll give you a shout out on here. Um, but we're all happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. It's Halloween. Hopefully we get some spooky sales soon. So we're off. We're happy, and I hope you enjoy this video. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe, hit that little alert thing to get to know when I'm coming on. Uh, and over and out from me, the Selling Dan. Mm -hmm.